So I'm going to select the this can be text layer and I'm going to hit control D. And how many words am I going to have? Let's see, how many words do we want to do in the animation? I think it was, uh, this can be anything you want. All right, so we'll duplicate this another time after that. And to keep things easy to read, I'm going to drag the original this can be up here. And I'm going to come out to about 15 frames after all the animations are complete. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to select my text tool. And this might be hard to read. Don't worry, we're going to be moving these layers around anyway. It's just good to have them in place. This can be anything, and we have that in there. This can be anything, and let's do this one in here, you, and want. I know you can't see what I'm actually typing, but uh, yeah. So now you have this can be anything you want, and I'm just going to drag it up with my select tool on the Y axis here. I'm going to disable my particles layer for now, the visibility, save rendering speed. And this can be anything you and I'm going to drag up want. In fact, to save rendering speed, I'm just going to select this layer and I'm going to disable the glow for now. Disable the glow, disable the glow, and disable the glow. All right, but we're going to turn all that back on at the end, including the particles layer. So with our This Can Be layer selected, now what we need to do is move these around in 3D space. And uh, believe it or not, this is actually pretty simple. All you have to do is switch over your camera here, and there's a bunch of preset cameras. I'm going to go to Custom View 1, and now we're looking at it from a very different perspective. Not our actual camera, don't get it confused. These are After Effects cameras that are used as viewports. So uh, yeah, we're going to keep the This Can Be. We're not even going to touch that. I'm just going to select my anything, and uh, let's drag this over here to the left, you know, maybe drag it up. I mean, pretty simple. You just want it to be out of the general vicinity of this can be, because when our camera is looking at this can be, uh, we want it, we, we don't want the other text layers to be visible. So we just got to move it out of the range. And now I'm going to grab my rotation tool, and I'm going to rotate along the y-axis, maybe to like there. And the camera will fly up and get that. Where else do we want to go? Let's let's move the want. Or no, let's move the U. Grab my selection tool again. Same thing. Gonna drag this over here. Gonna drag this one up. Maybe a little bit lower so the camera kind of comes down a little bit. Any subtle diversity that you can add to your animations. And uh, let's go to the want. Let's do the want now. And so it's going to go anything, no, this can be, and then camera flies up, anything, you, and then it's going to do 180, 360, whatever degree turn. And let's just drag the want over here, and let's rotate it like such. So then the camera's going to go, it's going to fly around and look at want. All right, so that's pretty much all that. I'm just going to move this back a little bit, and I'm going to move it up just to make sure that it's not in the camera viewpoint. And to really confirm that, I just go back to my active camera. And it seems that the U is up here in the right a little bit, so I'm going to go back to my custom view 1, select the U layer, and it was a little too close in the scene. Move that there. Move it up a little bit, maybe a little to the left. Now let's see, is it in there? All right, everything is out of the picture. All right, guys, so what we're going to be doing at this point it's just animating our cameras. And we're going to be doing that, our camera, singular, by animating our null object since we parented the camera to the null object. And how we do that, so we got our animation here. Let's just see where we want to animate it. About there. And it's actually pretty straightforward. All you have to do now is we're going to grab our anything layer because that's what's coming next. And we're going to drag it past the timeline, our marker there. And the reason is because this gap in between is going to be where our camera, it's going to be the time for the camera to come in here and then there's a gap, and that's where the text animates on. But what we're going to do is we're going to start about here. So I'm going to pull down my null object and begin the animation procedures. Procedures. Sound like a doctor. Anyway, um, what I'm going to be doing now is setting up a... I don't know why my right, Y rotation is negative 2. I'm going to set that to 0 just to make sure it's correct. Don't want to confuse anybody. All right, so we got our position. Left-click the stopwatch there and our Y rotation. And to edit the position, 
All we have to do is drag up here. Actually, I'm going to drag back down. And I'm going to tell you, this is one thing that got me in the beginning. I'm going to leave, I'm going to, since I created these first keyframes for the animation, I'm going to drag them to the beginning. That way I can store the original values so it comes on like such. And then about here, let's say about there. Now I'm going to set two more keyframes, one for each aspect. There we go. And then I'm going to move forward by hitting page down on the timeline and create another set of keyframes. So it's going to keep the values, it's going to move to that set of keyframes, keep the value, and then it's going to move forward one frame, and now we're going to begin our animation. And we go to about here. But to be able to visualize it and know where our camera's animating to, I know that the text animates about to here. So I'm going to drag here. It just takes a little bit of practice. And I'm going to set keyframes again. And then I'm going to drag up to edit my position value. That much is easy. And be careful not to use the rotation tool, because if you use the rotation tool, you're going to be editing your orientation. And we just want to edit the Y rotation. So I'm going to manually come down here and just drag the value of the Y rotation around. And there's our anything text layer. So now I'm going to just continue animating these keyframes, moving my position, move the X here, the Y. Let's go up a bit so we're parallel to it. And then let's zoom in. Zoom in on in, and that seems about good. All right. Maybe adjust the Y rotation a little bit. And, you know, that seems about good, actually. Seems about good. Right, so now we have our animation. And let's see, it goes here, and here, and then our null object moves up here, and there it is. Now the anything text layer comes on. All right, good deal. Now that's pretty much the process. What we're going to be doing is we're going to have that anything text layer start animating about here. But as before, we need to keep those keyframes. So these keyframe values are the exact same as these keyframe values, these right here. These and these are exactly the same. And then we need to move forward one frame by hitting page down, set a keyframe for both, and let's make this one pretty fast. Now we need to drag out our U text layer. Anything U 